honestly, you're not going to break kids, right? The most important, and you will make so many mistakes in your sessions. I make so many mistakes in my session. Guess what? With a baby, a typical developing baby and a parent connection, there's actually more breaks in communication than communication that works. And the cool part is it's in the repair that resilience and regulation comes, right? That's where the learning is. You don't want to be constantly challenged. Um, but the part that helps them grow up to trust people is actually from you making mistakes, but then acknowledging it and repairing it. And so if you go in with good intentions and you read their cues so that you're not just pummeling through, but you're backing off and you're, you're sort of commenting when you get it wrong, you're saying, no, Kim, I didn't want that. And you say, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm just trying to help you be able to move your body this way. That's that's part of OT, but I'll listen to you. You know, you can say that stuff and your parents might, the parents might look at you like you're crazy because this kid can't talk. But you know, you know that that you've got the affect right by saying that thing. And the kid gets in your affect that you're saying, I'm sorry, I didn't quite get it right, but I care what you think. And we use the words because that helps us get the affect right. Sometimes, so sometimes, sometimes we're told not to use too many words. And I think that's true. But sometimes because we're talkers, we need to use the words to get the affect right. But make sure you get the affect right. A lot of people also use words and don't get the affect right. I'm just on free association here. But um, so I, I often will hear therapists be like, uh, 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 no, no. And you're like, you just said, that's so fun. Do it again. Um, you just, you're not going to get it right. It just has to be constant hypothesis and test your hypothesis. Try things, but try them respectfully. Acknowledge when you get it wrong with your actions. You know, I often will physically withdraw to show a kid, I heard you, right? I got you. You didn't like that. Um, oh, no, Dave. Uh -uh, I didn't want that. And that builds trust again. It says this person listens to me because kids are constantly done to. I feel like as well, um, it really helps me um, sort of build that rapport with the parents and the caregivers. You know, I feel like I have to have, I have to get their trust as well. And if they can see and hear me, um, What's the word I'm looking for? Not like scripting. What's the word, Dave, I'm looking for? Um, like commentating? Yes. <laughs> um, but it's also like a bit of an example for them, you know, like you're modelling that um, for them to do at home yep. as well. Um, but also like, you know, I'm tuning into them, you know, I'm, I'm hopefully building their trust as well. So which mm. I find really helpful. Absolutely. And if you can say some of the things that I've just said to you to a parent, that can be life changing for how they interact with their child, right? You know, people, you can get articles about how, like there was a whole big thing last year, there was someone had said that people should ask permission when changing a baby's diaper. It was an American article. And everyone was up in arms. How stupid. What is the world coming to? Babies can't talk. Ask me. And, and I think you just stop, stop and have a conversation and stop and think about it and stop and think of the ramifications of being done to when things are uncomfortable. And that just, we know that there's just such a richer connection and that building of trust and respect in other people and helping kids anticipate will help them understand the world and be able to anticipate things in the future. It's not like you're expecting the kids going to say, oh, no, I'd rather you not change my diaper. Um, and it's not really that you're asking. Like, the kid has to change their nappy, right? But you're saying, oh, you know, we're going to do this. You know, like, you ready? Oh, you're a little you're worried about that. We got, here's how we go. And, like, you have this dialogue. And I think in many ways, it's just reading the kids' cues, getting into a groove, and... Um, we use words because it helps us get the affect right to be able to sort the kid to know 
I know this is uncomfortable, but I'm here and I got you and I'll support you and we'll get through it.